Hello friends, this is Ricky Chadda from Astro Healer. On the 27th of this month, the planet Venus, which rules or signifies comfort, luxury, artistic ability, it rules over glamorous industry, film industry, music, inborn talents, all type of talents in fact is ruled by this planet. On the 27th of this month, Venus shall be transiting into the sign of Pisces where it will get exalted. We also need to understand that Mercury now being in the sign of Taurus which is ruled by uh, Venus. So the dispositor of uh, the sign Taurus is exalted gives benefit to Mercury as well. Now, Pisces is known as the natural 12th house in the Kal Purush Kundli. So it represents spirituality. It talks about foreign land, foreign association. It also talks about expenses, expenditures. So Venus over here will make you more and more inclined towards spirituality. It will enhance your knowledge and you will be able to connect to your inner self even more better. To understand what is going to be the impact of this transit on various laganas and various uh, moon sign, let us get on to each sign and understand it. I am putting a timestamp so you don't have to watch the entire video. You can directly uh, go to the corresponding number and you can go straight to your lagna or moon sign. Let's begin with the first sign, Aries. For Aries, <clears throat> Venus rules the second house and the seventh house and shall be traversing or uh, getting into the twelfth sign, twelfth house, sorry. Now, twelfth house is always related to foreign association, foreign gains, uh, expenses as well. Financially, yes, your expenses would uh, rise more to do with material uh, things that you may buy for your home or you may spend for buying some luxury, luxurious things for your house. Professionally, I would say you are due for a raise, a hike, a promotion, an increment. In business, I see good profit for you. You can get good opportunity, especially if you're dealing with foreign land, if you are into import, export. In personal relation, <clears throat> this transit uh, proves to be quite promising. Relation uh, with your spouse, with your loved ones is uh, blooming. Uh, you'll spend some good time. Health wise, I see some <clears throat> mental worries, some stress uh, may keep you a little disturbed. Next sign is Taurus. For Taurus, uh, uh, Venus rules your first house and the sixth house and shall be in the eleventh house. Professionally, I, I feel that it's a very good period for you. You will make a lot of profit in whatever you are doing. All your desire because eleventh house is about desire and this is fulfillment of desire. You will achieve your career goals, your financial goals and you will have mental peace and satisfaction as well. Financially, this period will be favorable for you. You can expect increment, promotion, uh, desired transfer and so on. If you are into business, you will make good profit during this period. In your personal life, you will spend uh, a, a, a quality time, good time with your partner, life partner. Married couples also will see very favorable time and if you have been going through some conflicts that also will be resolved. Health wise you will see improvement in your health if you have been uh, suffering from some prolonged disease. Next is Gemini for Gemini. Venus rules your 5th house and your 12th house. It is traversing in your 10th house. This position says <clears throat> it's a good time for your career good gains if you are associated anyhow uh, uh, or any way with foreign land. 
you might also get good opportunity promotion you may be getting uh, recognition increment at your uh, in your professional life financially gain can be seen investment uh, will give give you good profit there would be positivity in your life romance would be there in your life if you are married i see it's a reasonable good period for you and also success uh, for your children because it is the fifth house also which plays a role over here health wise you might face some mental uh, stress and anxiety because 12th house is there <clears throat> next is cancer for cancer venus rules your fourth house and the 11th house shall be traversing in the ninth house of fortune professionally this will give you a very favorable result your talent your skill your creativity will be on a rise and you will be more inclined towards uh, learning more skills you might get a uh, promotion you may get increment rise in your salary financially uh, there are chances that you may buy a property uh, because the fourth house is in the ninth house, uh, ninth so buying of a property or buying of a vehicle can, can be seen if you are a business owner then you will see good profit during this time in your personal life i see you might get some uh, help from your mentor guru uh, who would help you to uh, find your career path or your uh, they will keep you keep be they will be motivating you if you um, if you are planning to go uh, on a long distance uh, travel uh, especially with your family this is a very good period for you if you are in romance if you love someone uh, this is a very good period and uh, good understanding and bonding is uh, it's increasing between your love life health wise you will remain fit and fine next is leo the lord of your third and your 10th house is in the 8th house now this could be a little uh, um, cause of concern i would say because professionally you may feel a little uh, challenging period is there you might face some setback in your career also so you have to be a little responsible and uh, act very uh, smartly you might be very much inclined towards uh, occult science occult activities um, research and so on financially expenses would be a little on a higher side married people will have an average time in your personal life and uh, a good bonding with your in-laws as well health wise you are advised to be a little uh, stay at guard uh, especially to do with your uh, digestive system your stomach uh, that area and even your eye from the third from the eighth house it is looking at the second house which represents the eye next is virgo for virgo uh, venus rules your second house and the ninth house and shall be traversing from your seventh house of your spouse life partner business partner and so on you will be making good profit if you are into a business good relationship with your partner journey will be successful if you plan one recognition name fame success is there on your chart financially income will also be good and you will spend a, a good amount of money on uh, journeys in personal life uh, long time issues will be resolved it will be it will get you know sorted out health wise you will be fit and healthy physically as well as mentally both for libra i would say uh, for the sign of libra the lord of your first house and the eighth house shall be in the sixth house for librans i can say yes professionally success will not come very easy you have to put lot of hard work into it focus on your career be patient keep a low profile i advise you not to get indulged into conflicts or arguments at your workplace with your seniors with your colleagues and even your subordinates if you are looking for promotion wait for some more time because uh, you need to be patient uh, things will get a little delayed in your personal life your relationship uh, your relationship is likely to remain smooth and uh, you won't have any hurdles health wise you have to take proper care of your health next is scorpio for scorpio the ruler of your 12th and the 7th house shall be traversing from your 5th house now for scorpion uh, you will see good growth 
there are chances of promotion increment as well if you are a student if you are if you are into academics then you may get admission if you if you are desirous of getting admission into a foreign university you will definitely get it it is advised to use your intelligence uh, during this period and take wise decisions fifth house is about intelligence financially the period is going to be average uh, try to keep yourself away from uh, speculative market uh, speculative activ activities like share market and all in personal life uh, relationships are becoming more stronger there would be love in your life married natives will have good news regarding their uh, children or birth of a child is possible health wise the period will bring good health and mental peace for you but yet do you exercise properly next is sagittarius the lord of your 6th and the 11th uh, house shall be in your 4th house now this is a good position because um, the 11th house of fulfillment is in the 4th uh, house this is going to be very favorable uh, period for you especially professionally you will do quite good uh financially also this period is very positive and you will enjoy uh, all type of luxury comfort you will you may want to purchase a vehicle or you want to purchase a property it's a good period for you you may also decide to renovate your house even this is uh, can be seen you will spend good time with your family and friends you will have a good relationship with your spouse and you will expect some good movement uh, with uh, him or her <clears throat> health wise i see you will remain fit healthy throughout this transit next is capricorn for capricorn the ruler of your 5th house and 10th house shall be in the 3rd house 3rd house is about communication it's about travels it's about your sibling professionally you need to maintain good relationship with your colleagues <clears throat> which may help you to get promotion uh, in near future yes you will get a little spendthrift but at the same time the favor is also coming your fortune is quite uh, good now in your personal life i see your relationship is getting better with your near and dear ones there will be gains uh, <clears throat> through your kids that means you may get a good news or some gain through your kids also you will spend some good uh, time with your uh, life partner you may even go for a family uh, gathering trip or something like that health wise you will be healthy and you will have a good time next sign is aquarius the lord of your fourth house and the ninth house shall be in the second house second house is about your uh, kutumb bhav dhan bhav uh, wealth <clears throat> accumulated wealth your eye and so on it's a perfect time to uh, make decision regarding your career growth is there fortune is uh, helping you to have all type of success in your career financially your expenses will be uh, on a higher side you will spend uh, on uh, like you know for domestic happiness for your family buying uh, material things for your family you will be investing money into long term plans as well uh, you will also uh, see increase in your luxury and your comfort in your personal life you will have a very strong relationship with your uh, with your uh, father or fatherly uh, figure if you are single it's a favorable time for you may get to know someone and you may be in love or romance and you will get lot of uh, support from uh, female members of your family because uh, venus is all about female you will uh, be planning uh, some uh, you know some get togethers uh, with your uh, relatives with your friends in social circle as well health wise you will have a very sound health just keep a regular check on your health that's it let's talk about the last sign pisces now pisces the lord of your third house and your 8th house shall be in your lagna itself venus exalted in your lagna you will do very well in business and you will earn substantial profit and you will have good returns as well 
you will be very much in, inclined interested in research occult science and this area will, will also give you a lot of benefit because the lord of the eight is in the first house financially you will be spending on yourself and maybe to improve your health also so you will sp maybe spend some money to join some gym or something like that overall the position of venus uh, says that you will remain stable and you will have a uh, a steady flow of uh, money coming in yes uh, <clears throat> your confidence will be um, very high it's a favorable period for those who are looking uh, for relationship or taking the relationship to, to the next level so if you are into a romantic relationship if you want to get married it's a good period for you and if you're already married then you see a very good bond with your uh, life partner because Venus is looking at the seventh house health wise I see that you may have a minor issues with your health nothing to worry much about so friend this was all about Venus getting exalted in the sign of Pisces on the 27th of this month if you did like this video give it a like click on the notification bell icon as well and subscribe to my channel thank you so much God bless you